loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this is gonna be another get ready with me. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I wanted to pop in here really fast and just kind of do a makeup look. It's really simple. It's kind of like a quick, easy beat. I guess I could call it that, quick and easy. <laughs> but during this video, I'm just gonna talk about a few things that I've mastered now that I've turned 50. And some of them are makeup related, others not so much. It's just a few. This is basically a chat get ready with me or but I am talking about uh, some things that I feel as though I've mastered at the age of 50 so with all of that being said let's get into the video all right so let's go ahead and get started and if you see me munching that's because I am eating look at what I have y'all I have chicken wings and macaroni and cheese white cheddar cheese I also added some parmesan cheese in it but anyway, I digress. Let's go ahead and get this party started. All right, so for foundation, I'm gonna start off with this Born This Way 24 hour foundation. I've talked about this foundation before in the past. I really, really like it. And because I'm going out um, right when I apply this, I think that this is like a good foundation to wear. So yeah, let's just get into talking about things that I no longer do at my age and that's not to say that I wasn't practicing these things before I turned 50 but one thing that I've actually mastered is uh, not using makeup wipes to take off my makeup and for all of you all who love makeup and you watch makeup videos already out there you already know that Makeup wipes have a long-term effect of causing wrinkles and it's just not good for the skin. And that's why I always elect to just use a cleansing balm. Um, that's what I like. Or you can use a cleansing oil. I've used those in the past and they always really work well. So that's one thing that I've mastered. I don't do that. You'll never ever catch me removing my makeup with a wipe now i do have them around to you know clean off makeup off of my hands and things like that when i'm put, putting on my makeup or doing videos but to take off my makeup i don't do that so the next thing that i have like really mastered uh, now that i am 50 is using eye creams some people there are some people out there that don't believe in eye creams but i feel as though they work really good for my skin type a lot of people think that eye creams are just kind of like a glorified moisturizer and i guess you know you could actually say that but i've actually taken the time out to look at the ingredients in eye creams in comparison to moisturizers and the ingredients is not the same now is that to say that a moisturizer or wouldn't help under your eyes no I'm not saying that but for me I find that eye creams just work really well they and you know eye creams is something that you really do have to use consistently any skincare uh, that you use you do have to use it consistently you can't use it even sometimes for 30 days you have to consistently use whatever skincare you have consistently in order to see effects all right so got all that applied and I'm just putting on one layer and now I'm gonna go in with my brows. I'm gonna use the Brow Blade by Urban Decay. This is it right here. And as you all know, the Brow Blade has a pencil on one end and it's actually got the pen on the other end. So I'm just gonna lightly fill in, just really lightly. I'm about to leave the house to take my son to get the rest of his outfit for homecoming. And I don't feel as though I need to do the complete most. All right, so got the brows all done. And the next thing that I'm going to put on is this lip bar concealer. This is it right here. I really do like the shade of this. It's really nice. Um, it does look like it has a little bit of a peachy undertone, but I still feel as though it works well for me. So another thing that I feel as though I've mastered now that I'm 50 and that's covering up conservatively and what do I mean by that I'm talking about makeup <laughs> okay and it's basically when I go out you know I just feel as though I don't need or want to apply as much as I used to only because it just to me it looks different on me and my skin type 
So under the lights, when I'm doing a video for YouTube, you know, sometimes you will see me doing full cover looks or really extravagant looks using a lot of makeup. But I do realize that a lot of younger people watch me and some younger ladies, they do want the full coverage. But for the ladies that are in my age group, I do like to put or I do like to do videos that have more of a natural, easy, simple look. But I feel as though now that I'm 50, I've mastered just using the makeup sparing only powdering where I need to, only putting concealer where I need to. For example, you just saw me apply the concealer right up in here, where sometimes I will apply it all the way around, but I'm about to go out. I'm not gonna use that much. So I feel as though I've mastered that, so to speak. All right, so now I'm going to just kind of highlight my brow bone up here. You know, and you can do that in so many ways um, without really going ham you can create a more glowy base. Um, you can use sponges to kind of thin out your makeup. That's what I did uh, in this situation. And I've, as far as my base, I used the oil because this is a mattifying or it's leaning towards a matte, this Too Faced foundation. So you can just kind of create that by how you use your base or how you apply your base. Another thing you can do is just use a concealer that is lightweight yet medium to buildable coverage or find a concealer that has full coverage and I also talk about foundations as well. You know, find you a foundation that is full coverage but light. There are some foundations that are out there and that will give you more of a natural look, so to speak. You can use less of it depending on the type of makeup that you use, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. All right, so for eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my Natasha Denona bronze palette. The shade that I'm gonna use is this one right here. The other thing that I have totally mastered, and this has nothing to do with makeup, and you'll totally understand it because of how old I am, but putting double spaces <laughs> after a period is something I have totally mastered. And you're probably like, girl, why were you doing that anyway? Well, <laughs> back in the era of typewriters and things like that, we were just always told to put double spaces after a period. And for the longest time, I would do that, you know, for the longest time. And I have finally mastered it. And I know you all are probably shaking your heads um, thinking, girl, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. And I put a little bit too much on that end, so I need to add a little bit more on this end. The other thing that I have truly mastered, and I think that I mastered this one back when I was 49, but just not dwelling on things, okay? Just kind of letting things go, but it's especially things that are beyond your control. Dwelling on things only makes you sick, and it's just not conducive to a healthy mindset. And sometimes that's hard, especially if, let's say you there's something serious going on, like super serious, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say an illness or a death or, or something like that, or, you know, something major. Sometimes that's hard, but so yeah, I feel as though I have totally mastered that, not dwelling on things. Another thing that I am, I think I just recently mastered this, and I don't know why, up and just till recently and that's eating too fast this has nothing to do with makeup either <laughs> but eating too fast for years and years i would just like a wolf just gulp just take down my food really fast and i've learned here lately just to kind of take your time and enjoy your food eat it slowly enjoy what you're eating <laughs> and i know you're like girl you greedy little joker <laughs> But yeah, taking the time to just slowly enjoy my food and eat it like that, I totally mastered that. All right, so now I'm going to add like a lid color and I'm just gonna use this orange right here and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. The next thing that I wanna talk about is caring what people think. Some people have mastered that years ago, okay? But truth be told, to some point, I think we all care what somebody thinks. Be that our mother, our father, our grandmother, our friend, our husband, our sister, or, or something. You know, you hear people say, I don't care what nobody, I don't care. 
what nobody think. <laughs> but to really care with what no one think, I think that's hard. Well, okay, for me. You know, to literally not care what anybody thinks. I'm like, you don't care what anybody thinks. <laughs> so I guess I could say for me, I I have mastered not caring about what most people think. Okay. I think that's safe to say, you know, and it's kind of like if you're not my mom or if you're not a good friend of mine or, you know, my husband or my children, you know, stuff like that. And you do have some people that are like, I don't even care what they think. <laughs> And I'm like, well, no, not me. I, I care what my family thinks. But to me, when you get to caring what other people think, that adds more stress onto your life. Unnecessary stress over people that don't even care about you. So if they don't care about you. Why would you care what they think? Kind of like that. I'm trying to decide if I want to put something in the outer V to deepen that up. Ugh. Okay, I will. I'm going to add this. I'm gonna add this in the outer V. The next thing that I've mastered is enjoying life and what life has to offer. When you just really concentrate on what's good in your life as opposed to what's bad, the quality of life just dramatically improves. And it's almost as though, you know, I've had an epiphany since turning 50 about that. And it's like your life, no matter who you are, what you have can really change drastically if you change your mindset about how you see your life, your situation, what you have, what you don't, well, not what you don't have, but the things that you have, just in life focusing on that, your life will improve drastically. Just to kind of give you an example, um, I used to have a coworker years ago <laughs> when we were working and I used to work for the state of Texas as an auditor and every year we would get a raise right <laughs> and when when our boss would tell us about our raise she'd be like those are just pennies don't nobody want that because what they did was they just give they just gave a percentage of you know whatever your salary was you just got a percentage of that right so she would just talk about, oh my goodness, she used to give our boss grief, right? And so I would tell her, girl, one dollar is better than no dollars. Now, of course, it was more than one dollar, but it's like, you know, your mindset. So my mindset was thank you for whatever it is increase. Because some people have, some people work for years and years and years and years and years and years and never get a raise. Do you hear me? They never, ever. So I, I always took the stance of I was thankful for whatever <laughs> they was gonna give me you know and i yet some of you all may think differently but that's just kind of how i look at life you know i try to concentrate on what i do have and it just kind of makes your quality of life better and sometimes you know you can fall into ruts you know and be like oh what was me but if you do you have to, you know, just kind of find a way to pull yourself out of it. At least that's what I do. And I concentrate on what I have, not on what I don't have. What what, what good is that going to do? <laughs> it does no good to think about what you don't have. All right, so I think I'm finished with this eye look. I think I want to add a little bit more of this shade. This is so pretty. These colors are so pretty. All right, so now I'm going to bronze with my Milk Makeup uh, Bronzer Stick. I talked about this in my recent favorites video. I'll link it up above just in case you missed it. And I really love this stick. It is really nice. I like the color too, and I like how easily it glides on the skin. So I'm gonna get a brush and blend that out. I had a stippling brush. Another thing that I have totally mastered is like self-care. And that's important at any age, but at this age, I have it mastered. I was good at it for years, for years. I was good at it, but now I got it mastered. I take care of myself. I take good care of myself. You know how they have, uh, <laughs> when you look at some of the uh, videos or if you read some of the articles, 
It'll say how you need to learn how to say no and you need to take care of yourself and do this. And I'm like, I got that mastered. I'm the queen <laughs> of taking care of self. I just am the queen of that. So, cause I've always thought my motto was always, if you don't take care of yourself, how can you take care of anybody else? You just can't, it's not possible. And if you're somebody who doesn't really like to or doesn't know how to say no or anything like that, definitely try to, you know, get that under control. Your life will be so much easier. And a lot of that, my ability to do that stem from my mother. You know, my mother has always taught me, you know, you don't have, you don't want to do it, don't do it. <laughs> my mother has, all, I got a good mama. I have a very, mama, I know you're watching, I love you. I have a good mama. My mother is good. I only hope that, you know, my daughter perceives me to be as good as she is, as my mother is to me, because she's a good mama. But yeah, my mom has always told me, if you don't want to do it, do not do it. If it's something that's going to stress you out or bother you or whatever, da -da -da, don't do it. Period, point blank. And I don't even know why you're still thinking about it. I don't even thinking about, it. you know, stop stressing about that. But I got that all applied. So let's see what else, because this, this this look is almost done and I'm gonna be out the door. All right, so I am going to use a powder. I'm gonna use this new uh, Fashion Fair powder. I love this powder, y'all. I love it, I love it. This is the shade right here. Hold on, I need some more water. I need some more macaroni and cheese. Mmm, so good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take my sponge and add it in my powder like this like that and then I'm just gonna dab it all over my skin and I'm gonna even go over the part that I bronze with because I want to soften that up just a little bit more and it's looking like I have need to go back in with my brows again but that's okay all right so to set my under eye I'm gonna go in with the brighten and bronze Rio palette by Olimar these are the shades I'm gonna use this shade right here you know the few things that I wanted to talk about you know, being able to master the challenge, the challenges of life is, in my opinion, it's an ongoing process. At least for me, it is. You know, it takes a long time to master something. <laughs> and from, as you can tell, because <laughs> some of these things, I know you're probably like, girl, you should have had that mastered. All right, got that applied. And I'm gonna go back in with my brow pencil and just kind of, I see some, spots that might be looking a little weird so i'm going to fix them okay i think i kind of got that right so for an eyeliner i'm gonna go in with this killer liner and gingerbread this is it right here that's it swatched and i'm going to use that as a liner just to add a little drama, or shall I say a pop of color. And now I'm gonna add some mascara. Add it very sparingly, because I don't want it to transfer. That's like the worst when you're putting on your um, makeup, your mascara, and then it transfers. I need to get one of those tools. I think Natasha Denona has the tool where you you hold it under your um, your lashes while you're putting on your mascara and it prevents it from transferring. All right, and for lipstick, I'm gonna use this Fenty, I don't know the correct name of it. I'll have it down in the description box. All right, and now for a highlight, I'm gonna use this Jacqueline Hill highlighter. I'll put everything down in the comments so you can know what it is. Right here and right here. Right here and a little bit up here. And a little bit on my nose. And now I'm gonna blend that out a little bit. All right, and the last thing that we're gonna do is spray, and I'm just gonna use this All Nighter Ultra Glow Setting Spray. All right, so I'm back with the final look with the lashes, and I did add a little bit of this NYX Lingerie Push-Up Lipstick. I added some of that over 
um, the Fenty, I can't remember what this thing is called. I added it over that and then I put some more of this over it and I came out with this really pretty creamy brown look. So yeah. All right, so this pretty much concludes the look. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Also, let me know your age and a few things that you've mastered. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.